This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, and verse 17 and 18. Also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord Yahweh, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 17 and 18. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and others at Great Millstone who were well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, it's the brother Aharon coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right. And um, I have an article I want to go into real quick. Okay, in the midst of all the things that's going on around the world right now. All right, these little things that's happening that's about to turn into big things. Okay. Um, we can see through the spirit that through this whole Israel conflict, all right, it's going, obviously it's leading to World War Three. Okay, as it tells you in um, Jeremiah, um, <coughs> it's like it. Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, all right, going into the uh, the least of the flock shall draw them out. Okay, now you're starting to see Israel, all right, pretty much uh, uh, aligning themselves and, and, and setting up themselves to go, uh, like they said, uh, to go to war in a, on a, on a long-term basis, basically. All right, and they're, they're basically, uh, Israel has become a vortex, all right, to suck in all these other nations, uh, including NATO, America, and so on and so forth. All right, and ultimately that's going to boil over, okay, because once NATO gets involved, okay, by the request or at the behest of, of, of Israel, that's going to suck in, you know, the, the, the so-called Iranians, all right, which are known as the Persians in the scriptures, and then, uh, the land of uh, uh, Gog and Magog, the chief prince, all right, of Meshach and Tubal, okay, Russia, okay, Ra'ash Shah, okay, the chief prince, the head, okay, the head prince, all right, but this, this article here, all right, again, is going to show you not to lose sight of ultimately, with all these things that's going on around the world, Yahweh Shai, our Lord said what, that, uh, that the end is not yet. Okay, so yeah, the, 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 you know, there's, there's wars, there's rumors of wars, but the end is not yet. Do not lose sight of what's actually happening behind closed doors. Okay, some may say this is all even a distraction from the from the main event before the main event. Okay, the semi-main event, which is ultimately that that hour of temptation, the MOTB. Okay, and these devils are working tirelessly, all right, to bring this thing to fruition. Okay. And this is all biblical prophecy. It says United Nations joins World Economic Forum to accelerate Agenda 2030. There you go. Okay. To accelerate. <coughs> okay. It says any doubt about the NWO ambitions of the UN and the WEF were recently eliminated when it was announced that United General Secretary Antonio Gutierrez and Klaus Schwab Klaus has signed an agreement to accelerate Agenda 2030, okay? Now, what does it mean to accelerate? It means to speed up, okay? When you speed something up, now, why are they speeding things up? Because they know that they have but a short time. Okay, let's get that real quick. Okay, again, this is all biblical prophecy, and we're living in those last days, all right? Everything that was prophesied to happen is happening, okay? You got people saying that, oh, why are you guys obsessed with the MOTB? Well, you got to understand that the Lord, hey, scriptures tell you, let's get that one. Okay. I believe in the book of Amos. <clears throat> okay. The Lord has spoken. Who can but prophesy? <coughs> okay. Let's see if we can find that real quick. See, that's one thing that a lot of Jake don't, don't understand. Okay. When the Lord speaks, everyone listens. Okay. And the Lord speaking is in the form of the prophets. Okay, the Lord speaks through his prophets because the prophets are saying what the Lord is about to do in the future, in the very near future, to warn your ass, pertaining to Ezekiel 3 and 17. Okay, it's a book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, the lion hath roared, who will not fear? Okay, because whenever a lion roars, 
even the animals running away from that vicinity okay who would not fear all right i mean it's it's rhetorical everybody fears when the lion roars okay the lord yahweh hath spoken who can but prophesy there you go okay so we're supposed to to establish all right the truth okay make it plain upon table so you you, you don't have the right to come around saying that uh why are we so obsessed with you know uh the motb prophecy you know you're obsessed with all prophecies that's just what it is because the lord speaks the prophets are here to prophesy that's it that's our job that's our goal that's that's what we're here for you know is to tell you things before they come to pass according to the heavenly father's uh, uh, word which is in the scriptures okay the true understanding all right and yes the motb is coming to, is about to become uh the mainstay okay and you're gonna live a life and make decisions based on that to sounds of thunderous applause transforming our world the 2030 agenda for sustainable development was released to the world at the united nations summit in september 2015 as a roadmap for imposing global socialism on every inhabitant of planet earth a document that was adopted and approved by every one of the 193 member nations okay there's a book of revelation chapter 12 verse 12 it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea okay this is exactly the time that uh ezra saw all right he, he documented in, in second ezra the 15th chapter all right woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days all right woe to the inhabitants of the earth and at that time ezra was seeing himself during this time that john is talking about that's why he he said woe is me woe is me who who shall deliver me in those days okay Yahweh Shai, who is mighty to save, he will deliver us in those days. Okay? It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the, Lord, uh, of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Okay? He's come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay? So let's keep reading why these devils are moving so fast, all right, here in these last days. Okay? It says, Agenda 2030 is a system of total worldwide centralization of power influencing everything from governments to economies the 17 so-called sustainable development goals in the official document essentially serve as the recipe for global socialism and corporatism for example one agenda 2030 goal calls on the un national governments and every person on the planet earth to quote reduce inequality within the among countries end quote that, that that doesn't make sense but okay which could only be achieved quote if wealth is shared and income inequality is addressed end quote you hear that what comes to mind when you hear stuff like that wealth being shared hmm? you think of ubi universal basic income okay but again this is all a ploy to, to, to get you into the prison without having to be having to get you arrested you're gonna volunteer to just go right into the prison <coughs> okay it says um <coughs> Salakia. uh it says still the un document makes it perfectly clear that to combat inequality domestically is simply not enough and that only international socialism can be truly effective at bat battling inequality you hear that so the universal basic income has to be a global thing hence you have the change in the in the payment system okay everything is becoming digital and they're pushing very hard pushing billions of dollars into getting these other countries up so-called up to speed on <coughs> On uh, technological advancements okay they would like to have everybody on on the grid so they can control them all right knocking everyone on on to the same uh, level playing field so to speak okay it says the UN's initial target in agenda 2030 was of course the children as a global organization devoted much of its efforts to transform the next generation into an army of quote agents of change end quote mm. listen to this children and young women and men are critical agents of change 
and will find and will find in the new goals a platform to channel their infinite capabilities for activism activism into the creation of a better world that's blasphemous right there okay you know ain't no ain't no gonna be no children and young women and young men gonna change the world into a better world all right it's, it's just not gonna happen okay if, if anything they're being influenced to make this world even worse so when you look at the end result of these devil's plans they call that a better world so why why don't you understand that these are the devils that the bible speaks of when you read the end result of their plans everything that they they talk about oh sustainability and we're gonna create equality and you know all this shit that is made to sound nice. But when you look at it, 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 it doesn't favor the average person. Because the process to get to that is definitely not favoring the average person. And then World Economic Forum have came out and said, prepare. Prepare for pain. All right, this transition is going to be necessary, but you're going to go through some pain. Okay? And it's not pain that's just going to go away. It's going to stay till the missiles drop. Because now you know why the far left fights so hard to eliminate parents from the education of their children, such as when Mary Garland calls parents domestic terrorists for opposing CRT, which is, I believe, critical race theory and Marxism. It gets in the way of their indoctrination. That's right. All right. And the, and the prophets are the number one, uh, basically the, 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 the last defense all right, to, to, to humanity's consciousness. Okay, because it's through the prophets that we're, 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 we're leading, all right, Jake, back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And that's the only true way of life. Okay, through the true understanding of the biblical, all right, world. Okay, because it impacts us directly. All right. So let's, con let's continue. It says, especially in today. All right, especially today. Everything in the scriptures, all right, is affecting everyone, all right, today, which is known as prophecy. And everyone is, uh, is subject to prophecy. Um, let's see. The World Economic Forum is sympath sympathetic with the UN and <coughs> with the UN and Agenda Twenty Thirty in other ways. In November 2016, World Economic Forum published eight predictions for the world in 2030, describing how the world will be a much different place because of changes to how people work and live. Hmm. Some predictions can, uh, coming true during CV lockdowns and mandates. All right, they went into people owning nothing and they'll be happy. All right, um, the, all that type of dumb shit. It's all happening now. Okay, they're bringing it all together. And they're using big, big time distractions and, you know, CGI and all kinds of different shit. I remember this was like about a year ago. Um, they were talking about a video. Uh, there was a video that I was showing with uh, Zelensky. Even though it wasn't him, it was a, a basically like a 3D printed model. But it, it was moving just like him. Speaking just like him. Uh, what they call uh, AI deepfake. They were using that technology. And they said very soon they'll be using that to control the narrative. And they showed it in the demo. All right, they showed, you know, a, a land that was going to war, just like what you're seeing right now with the whole Israel thing, you know? And it's just funny to me how all of this stuff just happened all of a sudden, just like that. It's almost like they planned it. You know, how come a, a country gets bombarded like that, Israel that is, and then within hours, they already know who did it, where they're going, and now they've already planned, oh, we about to, we about to come after them, they've done this to us. It's like, whoa. Yeah, paragliders flying through, doing all this shit. Okay, come on. All right. So something is definitely fishy about this whole situation. But hey, nonetheless, all right, this is what the Lord set it up. And this is how he set it up to be. Hey, we're going to go with it. All right. That's what the, that's what the Bible prophecies are all about. Okay. <clears throat> it says, uh. The UN and the World Economic Forum are committed to destroying free markets and individual choice. And if they succeed with Agenda 2030, liberty will disappear from the planet. <coughs> and that's exactly what their goals are. Okay. 
And that's why they want to do away with the prophets because we are the only ones on the earth. Again, like I said, all right, the last defense against this 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 uh, societal madness that's going on. Okay, that these devils want to take over the earth on a, on a different level. All right, they want they want to be uh, considered uh, gods on this earth. And, and and if gods, then they get to make a change, and they have a they they get to decide what goes on on this earth. Who gets to live on this earth? Okay, and how much I right, can you can you uh, uh, consume on this earth? That's that's their mindset. Okay, everything is going to be heavily heavily policed. Okay, like I said, this whole Israel thing could really spiral into a uh, global chaos amongst the people okay there's a straight division just just with that alone all right and with the with the way the energy was shifting you had a few months ago you had the whole um montgomery thing going on all right so and then you have now you got the so-called migrant crisis okay there's a lot of things that could open up for uh disagreements between people that could turn real real crazy real quick we're talking race wars, race uh, fights, all right? All kinds of shit. Scripture says, one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. Okay, so we'll see who's going to be providing these swords to. You saw Edom, all right? The government in the back. All right, because you don't got average person, uh, average people producing these these weapons. No. Okay? So we'll wait and see. All right? It says, if we continue allowing the United Nations, the World Economic Forum, and the globalist allies in government and business uh, chip away at our God-given right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, America will fall to Agenda 2030 and the New World Order. Okay, America is going to fall completely, period. That's just what it is. It ain't about no New World Order. Okay, the New World Order that's coming is going to be under the righteous order of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's the only way there's going to be peace on this earth. Okay, there's a book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Okay? People ain't rejoicing now. Okay, when you go into that word rejoice, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Rejoice. Okay, to be glad. <laughs> okay, to exalt. Okay, to be made glad, to exalt. All right. To be merry, to be joyful. Okay, to cheer up. I mean, come on. A lot of people now are in fear and in despair. Okay, why? He says what? But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Okay? There's mourning everywhere, every day, whether it's because of your job, whether it's because of your life, whether it's because of anything. The system right now is making people mourn. And that means to what? To be in pain or in grief. Okay? And it's going to be worse. Because the Lord said, what? It's just the beginning of sorrows. <laughs> okay? So again, they're going to take advantage of that window of opportunity. Okay? They're going to take advantage of the window of opportunity. All right? And they're going to lay them snares out there. And they're going to catch a lot of these wicked-ass niggas. All right? Because they're not prudent. So they're not watching all right, well to their goings. All right? And they're going to end up getting chipped. And they're going to end up getting dipped in the missiles, man. The missile sauce, the missile fire. Okay? Period. We're going to see niggas frying very soon. All right? Mm. So keep an eye out. All right? And uh, pay attention to the distractions and the, the reasons why people are being distra distracted. Okay? Pay attention to the narratives, the propaganda. You know? And um, let's keep watching. All right, let's keep watching and see what the Lord is going to do very soon. All right? So anyway, I'm going to leave it off there, lower than you ratified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rachel Kodash, the water Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai. And until next time, Shalom.